Well, we'll be having some poblano peppers stuffed with chicken. Po poblano? And yes. Hold it. Hello? 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 It doesn't hear me, baby. Good day to you and how you be everybody. Today I'm about to just almost be done with this order of a soccer league, printing some jerseys, some polo shirts, and all of them up polyester. And I know when it comes to polyester, it's nerve wrecking every time you want to print polyester because you are afraid of the dye migration. Dye migration is a gas that is still on the polyester when it's heated and you already print something, it's gonna migrate to the ink and your white ink is gonna look a little light pinkish if it comes from a red. If it comes from a black, it'll look like a little light grayish. You know, same thing with the blue. And this is nerve wracking for a lot of screen printers that are beginning, I know it has happened but they'll come and tell you, go get a poly ink, yes, too thick, and then they'll tell you, take uh, any plastisol ink, but don't let it go over 300 degrees, because over 300 degrees, now the gases will start migrating to the ink. That means you have to get a plastisol ink that's, uh, that cures under 300, like the rapid cure ink, they cure about 270, that's a good one, the uh, F and ink, cures about 260, you could use that. But still, sometimes it happens, even if you have to bring it up, even if you have a little um, laser, you know, and you're pointing at it, just because it's over and it's telling you it's 270, does not mean that in the bottom of that ink is cured. So you have to race it up to about 290, 295, and sometimes, it's just reading you that and you don't know if it's on the 300 and it's still, it migrates. And uh, how you tell it migrates just, just mean that once it comes out of the conveyor dryer, it's already, if it comes out nice and white, it didn't migrate, no. I have print uh, polyester that I, it looks good, I finished the order, I left it on, my, on the table, the next morning I come in, it migrated it just took longer but it happened so sometimes you if you're gonna start printing just print one leave it there and then the next day if it didn't migrate keep the same temperature everything works but here's the way I have been doing polyester shirts for about two years with no problem yes I use the rapid of uh, the rapid curing from screen print direct the white one cures at 270 I keep I keep it around 285 to 90 the temperature that's good but the thing that makes you comfortable even if I have gone to 315 310 is when you're gonna go order the shirts like from the supplier I order my stuff from ssactivewear.com SNS the polyester that I look for is the one that says dye migration free and it really really works that means they really got rid of all the gases in that polyester out completely because I have gotten I have printed shirts that have gone over 310 315 and they didn't migrate and I'm talking about the red polyesters and if you're gonna print polyesters yes Get your low cure ink, and when you're gonna go to your supplier, just look for dye migration free. It's better than somebody brings you polyester, you don't know if they cheap, that means there has a lot of gas in there, and even if you heat it up at 280, it might just show up a little. So you don't wanna take that risk, especially when you're printing this type of garment, man. So that's what I, 
I'm about to just finish here. The numbers came out beautiful. They coming out beautiful. I'm just almost be, I'm done with it. And then I'm gonna go home because my lady's gonna do some po stuffed poblano peppers. It's one of my favorite dishes that she does. Put it in the top three dishes that I could just eat anytime, man. So right now, let me finish these numbers and let me just head home. What's up, baby? What are we eating? Tonight. We're having some poblano peppers stuffed with chicken and some queso fresco mm. with jasmine rice and a little salad. What type of salad are we doing? Mexican salad. Ooh, all right, baby. Let's do this. What was that that you just added? Um, some black pepper, salt, okay. and some Cajun and seasoning. This, and this? That's the adobo sauce. Mmm, adobo sauce. All right. Pour it in. Mmm, oh, it smells so good already. Mm -hmm. So now, finish, you let this marinate for about an hour, right? While we yes. prep everything else. All right. It's gonna marinate. Look at this chicken, looks amazing. Poblanos, once you roast them, put them in a bag and let them steam there for a while, for maybe 30, 45 minutes. So they could be able to scratch off all that, um, how you call that baby? The skin. The skin of the pepper. Also, oh, you put the flour before you stuff it. Yes. Okay. That will help for the for the egg to adhere to the pepper. Right? It's time to eat. Check out this dish. Jasmine rice with poblano pepper stuffed with chicken and queso fresco and a Mexican salad topped with queso fresco and um, avocado. Mmm, let's see. Here's the stuffed pepper with that chicken. Mmm. So spicy. Mm-hmm. The salad. Mmm. The Very salad good. came out good, baby. Mm-hmm. The salad. It has apple cider vinegar, honey. Um, what else baby has? Um mm -hmm. olive oil. And then the ingredient which is the spring greens, mm -hmm. avocado, um, cherry tomatoes, but Topping with the queso fresco and the salad, delicious. Here's the other. I'm gonna open so you can see what's inside. There it is. That chicken with adobo sauce. So delicious. And it has queso fresco, just like the salad. Has some nice queso fresco there. But mm-mm-mm, look at that dish. 
That is awesome. Just taste that. Mmm. Delicious. My lady, she's been waiting for me to do this video. Took a long time. She's already eating. Now, have a nice glass of wine. Enjoy your evening with your spouse or with your family and have a good dinner like this. Check out the recipe. I'm gonna be posting it on Instagram and I'm gonna put the recipe soon, all right? So, cheers. Oh, if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be thankful always, be grateful always, and just let God take you on the right. Peace out. Mmm. Mmm. Fario bueno, baby.